Did you just update OBS Studio to 27.2 and now your lower thirds with dockable control panel no longer functions? I'm here to tell you there is a solution. There is an easy solution. And I'm going to get you up and running in a nice, calm, and peaceful demeanor so that you don't punch a hole through your monitor. Let's get some. Electrify your online presence with live stream. For some reason, the developers did something funky, and now it adversely affects how the URLs are interpreted. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So when you go into a browser source, right, and you go in there and go into the properties, and you are instructed to click the local file box, and then click browse, and then go to the location where your browser source call is, right? Browser dash source. When you select it, you hit open. This syntax for the URL is no longer functional with 27.2. Don't complain. Everything's for free. And this is your solution. Do not worry. Go into your file explorer. Go to your C drive program files. Don't worry. Scroll all the way down to OBS Studio. Open it up. We'll fix it. And click the animated lower thirds folder. And click lower thirds folder. And double click the browser dash source link here. It should open it up into your default browser and you'll see it show up right here. Copy it and let's paste it into a text file, shall we? And as you can see, it says file colon forward slash forward slash forward slash C colon forward slash. That's the key. Highlight this entire beautiful address. Hit your happy control C. Go into OBS Studio. Double click your browser source. Uncheck local file and paste that bad boy right in there and hit OK. Ah. And Bob's your uncle. Look at that. It functions. Now, if you're having difficulty seeing your lower third control panel, the same thing could apply. Hit view. I'm sorry. Forgive me. Docs, custom browser docs, and this address should also reflect that new URL file format or syntax, if you will. So you may have to hit your delete button here and go back into your file explorer and double, con double click control dash panel, highlight that, copy that address, pop back into OBS Studio and plop that bad boy right into the URL space and hit apply. Stay strong and keep fighting my delicious live stream creator. Get some!